Hey, this is YVR, and we're going to make a car in automation. Now, we're going to go straight and make a supercar, or even maybe a hypercar. I'm not really sure which it'll be for sure yet, but we're going to make one of those in sandbox mode. Why such a crazy car? Because it's actually easier to make one of those, because we don't have to worry about cost. We can be like, oh, yes, this car costs $3 million. Who cares if it costs $2 million to make? We still make a $1 million in profit each one we sell. And that's going to be the whole idea behind this car, just how much money can we throw at a single car in every way possible to make it expensive and fast. So for that, you're, you're going to want to have a unibody chassis so that way you can have carbon fiber. Because carbon fiber is the lightest stuff you can get for a car. Engine, you don't want front transverse. That's just weird. Why, that would basically mean you have a, a front wheel drive supercar. Have you ever heard of such a thing? No, no I haven't. Mid longitudinal or mid transverse, both would probably work out pr fairly well. But we'll go ahead and go uh, for longitudinal just because it has just a little bit more uh, cooling ability and I figure I'm gonna put a big engine in this thing so it's probably gonna need any cooling ability it can get and for suspension double wishbones on front and back because that is the best one there is between the two is if you ask me double wishbones are better I think they weigh a little bit more but yeah they weigh a little bit more but they, it's worth it for the grip and then for the drive type we could go either way rear wheel drive or all wheel drive but I want to push a thousand horsepower and pushing a thousand horsepower through the rear wheels only is possible but for your average rich man who is able to afford this car, they're probably going to want all-wheel drive so they don't kill themselves every time they try to go get their laundry or groceries or whatever they do. They get people to do that for them. Who am I kidding? What do they even drive cars for? They don't need a car. They just have somebody drive them in their Bentley or something, you know? Whatever. And again, the carbon fiber all over the place. Quality, 15. So then we got to pick a body style. Now, let's, let's decide. Does that scream supercar to you? <laughs> That'd be a really weird one to do, especially considering the year is 2014. If we brought this back about 20 years, it might be, yeah, that looks pretty fast, but no, no, that's not a supercar. Now, the real one we should use is probably either this one or the other one, which is kind of like an extended version of that one. See, it's just a little bit longer. I think that's the one we're going to use. Yep, that looks good, because it has a bigger engine bay. We're going to put a big engine in this thing, so we need a big engine bay. I don't know if this will increase the, does that increase the engine bay? No, it doesn't. So... What we're going to do is we're going to mostly leave the body shape and, well, let's, you know, just because it would probably be realistic, let's make it where the engine location is huge because we need a big engine in that thing. And we're going to need big, big fenders right here to put down the power because, like I said, 1,000 horsepower, we're going to want fat tires to be able to put that power down. And what else can we change here? We could probably do something with the front, make it, yeah, it looks okay, a little more pointed. Why not? Well, how about if it was flat? I think flat looks a little better, actually. Probably is a... Uh, really doesn't matter but I think yeah flat we're going flat the back end what about the back oh that looks weird no we want that one flat too how flat though do we want it let's line it up like about there we go let's just have it flush you know all right and then uh we can ooh, we could do something here uh nah it needs some kind of curve there and that looks a little too much that's getting into like old 60s American cars kind of thing you know we're getting like a Thunderbird look to it we don't want that. Just a little bit of uh, movement there. That looks good. And uh, what about here? No, that looks really dopey and dumb. That one looks... Uh, let's put it up a middle bit. That's pretty much where it was already, right? Oh, well. Just messing with things, making sure I make it look good. Make the roof a little bigger, something like that. There we go. That'll be the car we're making. That's it. That's the, that's the shape we're using. Now, for the color, we got, we got the yellow, which is kind of like the iconic Lamborghini color, if you ask me. You got red, which is iconic, Ferrari. So we should use blue for the iconic YBR car. Blue. That's a better blue. Uh, it's, I mean, you know, it, it's a primary color. No, I, there's no, it's not a color that's normally used, so why not? In quality, 15, because this is an expensive car. Who cares about the cost? All right, so now we got to put some headlights on this thing. Uh, let's see. Maybe we could put them right here. That might look okay. So try something like uh, this one maybe right there. Something like that. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's not great, but we all know that I'm terrible at designing things, don't we? If not, you do now. That looks all right. I mean, I, I, I've seen uglier cars, that's for sure. That looks okay, yeah. I, I think I think we could, well, hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, that's fine, that's fine. All right, what else can we do? Let's see, so that's the front lights. Now we can put some tail lights on it. For tail lights, uh, we probably want to try to put it right there in that groove. So maybe these ones, like right nearish and bigger, of course. And mm, maybe rotate a bit. Uh, oh goodness, no, wrong way, wrong rotation. There we go, something like that, maybe. That looks okay. 
You know, I'm not putting much effort into designing because I already know I can't design good. That doesn't look that bad. That looks all right. All right, and then we got to do indicators. You know what? Do I want indicators? Those will probably look weird. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. Let's see what would happen if we put one on somewhere. Like, just put one right here or something. Uh, like right there. I don't know. Hey, that looks okay. Sure, I'll leave that. I mean, I don't know if it's actually visible in the angle that it should be visible from, but it doesn't look bad having them there, so we can just leave it there. I mean, you could probably put them in the, you know, on the door, which well, that'd be weird, actually. No, don't put them on the door. All right, grill. Why would we have a front grill? I mean, I guess we could just say, oh yes, we pipe the air back to the back to cool the engine, so we could put a grill on it. Sure. Put a little smiley one, you know, happy grill. Happy grill. That looks okay. Maybe a little. What happens if we widen it out to there? Nah, the overlap of the lights looks weird. So let's make it just a little bit smaller so the lights kind of just match up with it. That looks good. That looks alright. I think that's good. Yeah, why not? I like that. That's good enough. Alright, looks okay so far. What else should we put on? Vents? Do we need. Let's see, right now we have 719 kilojoules of cooling. I believe that's what that stands for. And, um. I don't know how much the engine will make. I mean, it depends how we make the engine. Obviously, it's going to be a V8, but I don't know exactly what we're going to do. But, you know what? Just to be safe, let's try putting something that will look nice on the back. Maybe some sort of uh, vents or something. I don't know if we can find any that will really... Yeah, it doesn't... It's okay. I mean, it's okay looking for this car, right? Why not? It looks alright. I mean, I mean, it's not... Again, it's one of those things where it's not great. But hey, look at the cooling it can do. Got to keep this thing cool, man. So that's good enough. And, uh, yeah, that kind of looks plain, you know? You look at a lot of the, the cars they're making now, the supercars and stuff, they have something there. Even if there's not an engine there or anything, they have some kind of indentation there, you know? So let's put something there. I don't really care what it is, just something. Yeah, that one looks more like an actual... That one doesn't look good. No, no, not that one. Not that one, not that one. How about this one? And no. See, the ones that they have, it seems like they kind of dip inwards, where these ones are the opposite. These are the ones that are made for, like, a normal car, you know? A normal car, you'd put ones that kind of dip up. Eh, well. Whoa, look at that! That looks trippy! It's like there's just a... Whoa! No, we don't want that. That looks weird. What about the last one? That one might be okay. Yeah, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Just to kind of give it some sort of a uh, shape to the hood. It looked a little too flat, you know? Alright, there we go. It's okay. Like that. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe we should have put a vent there. That might be... Vent might look a little bit better, because those ones will actually kind of give it the shape I'm thinking of, maybe. Something like that. No, that, that's not that shape. Not that shape, but I think the fence would look okay here. That, that one just doesn't look good. No. No, 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 no. Um, let's see. Which one would look a little better, maybe? Um... Maybe these ones. Mm. Let's see, if we rotate it to go like this and then make it bigger, it almost looks like the ones on the um, the, the McLaren P1, actually. I think. Uh, not that big. Well, hmm. No, we need to flip them, I think. Yeah, right there. I swear to you, that kind of looks like how they have them on the McLaren P1. I'm pretty sure. So maybe we'll leave them like that, make them a little bit bigger. To me, that kind of looks like it, so I'm just going to leave it like that, because it reminds me of that. It's it probably not exact, but my memory of it makes me think that looks similar to how they have theirs. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then what else do we need? Let's see here. We need wings. Wings. We need wings. We need downforce, man. This car's going to be fast. It needs all the downforce it can get. So what kind of wing do we want? Really, we might just plop them on and see what they look like. Alright, we need this wing way longer. And they don't get long enough to actually cover the whole body, so that's going to look kind of funky. Guess that might be okay. I want to do we get one that's taller. We need downforce, man. We need a tall wing. I, I, I'm trying not to make this thing look into a, like a ricer, but it's getting there, you know? It's like, how much stuff can I pile on it? Oh god, it looks like a ricer now. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but, you know, with me designing it, who knows what'll happen. 
That doesn't match. It's too thin. Like, it doesn't look right. It's just too thin. No. Let's try a different one. I mean, it's taller. I like the height, but it's too thin. How about this one? I think we'll just go with that one. That one's probably going to look okay. Well, this one actually gets wide enough to do kind of the way I wanted it to look. Like, just kind of look a little crazy with the wing, you know? Whoa, where are the wing going? Get back on the car. That looks alright, yeah. Can we make it taller? Nah. We need the downforce, man. It's functional. That's why it's there. It's for the downforce. I don't know if it actually really matters for how the car will drive in this game. But, you know, in real life, you want that downforce, man. Especially when you're going at, like, 200 miles per hour, you'll, you'll thank me. Alright, what else can we do? We could put a lip on it, and we could put a badge on it, and then we're good to go. Try a, a lip on the front. A front one might look okay, I think. Uh, maybe not. Well, let's see. Front lip. That one... Yeah, I'll let it go. That looks okay. Sure, that looks alright. How about the back? Does the back look good with a lip? Hmm... Eh... Eh... Not really, because it doesn't go long enough. It kind of looks like it just ends right here. Looks like it, you know, kind of would look better if it went just a little longer. So we'll pass on the lip on the back, I guess. Well... Eh, what the heck. We'll let the lip stay. I'm a nice guy. We can have a... No, no. No, I don't like it. No lip on the back. Alright, badges. Let's put a badge on this thing. Who's the manufacturer? This guy. Alright, so it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it actually looks okay. L not great, but okay. Ooh, we, maybe we should put something here. You know, because real ones, they have some sort of, like, shape here, you know? Real cars that have, like, a shape that kind of directs air in a certain direction or something, usually. How about we do something like that? I'm like, well, maybe a little more. Rotate it some. I don't know, just give it some kind of curves to make it look, uh, interesting. I'm using a vent just because I figured, why not? Oh, goodness, that's not right. Uh, there's something wrong with this shape here. There we go, that one. There's a little hole. Like, you see that little hole? I think, uh, let's try placing it again, see if that fixes it. Well, you know what? Again, going back to the, uh, that same car, the, the P1, they have a black siding. I know they have some, like, black siding on it or something. So what if we did that on ours? What if we did that, huh? Hmm? Problem is, when you rotate it, it kind of gets a little crazy for the game. Doesn't know what to do. Alright, let's try a different shape. Maybe it's just that shape. Um, Vince, Vince, Vince. I'm trying to think. What kind of shape is on the, uh, that car, the car I keep mentioning, you know? I think theirs is kind of like a unique shape. So none of these really match that too well. Maybe we could try, like, bending and squeezing this into a certain shape and it might work out. I don't know. Whee! Make it long. Make it tall. Make it long. Let's see. So, hmm. Spend a lot of time designing, aren't we? <laughs> I'm just like, I want to make the car look reasonable. Eh, can go either way with this, really. I mean, I know it's not quite like how they have it on that car, but it, it reminds me of it at least. Plus, it'll be good for the cooling, I would think. So we'll just leave it like that. That looks... I mean, it, it, it doesn't look terrible. That's my goal. It doesn't look terrible. Oh, wait. We're missing something. I think we're missing some Yes, we are missing something. How are we going to open these doors? Yeah, this is my, here's my car. I can't drive it because it doesn't have door handles, and the, the idiot who made it just forgot the door handles. But here's my car. Let's put a little handle. Let's, uh, let's do something, like, fancy. You know, how about we put it way up here, and we have it pointed, like... Like this or something. Just something crazy, you know? Just because, you know, it's a crazy car, give it a crazy door handle. You have to, like, pop it upwards and stuff, and it's just something different, you know? Alright, so that's the car we're going to design. Didn't look half bad, did it? So now we got to make an engine for it. Uh, wish me luck on that. I guess we're going to want a V8 because, well, power. Block material. Magnesium is going to be the lightest, so we'll use magnesium. 
bore and stroke, I'll come back to that and make it as big as I possibly can while fitting in the chassis of the vehicle. So then we'll just pass on that for now. And then crank, I think, yep, max torque is best with the billet steel, so we're just going to use that. Basically, we're just going all out on everything, you know, I-beam titanium. I think we might only do forged pistons because they can do more torque. Yeah. And I don't plan this thing to be a really high RPM thing. I'm planning it to be a real powerful, you know, pretty high RPM, but maybe not that high. So we're going to do that setup, and then let's see. We're going to have, yep, dual overhead cams because we need as low as friction as possible. Might as well do uh, five valve because we can. No expenses spared, man. That's the goal of this vehicle. No expenses spared. All right, so material, we'll use uh, uh, aluminum silicone. Probably is the lightest, isn't it? Yes, it is. Compression, we'll tweak that later. Cam profile, we'll throw that up to like 90, because you know this is this thing's got to go fast. It got to have that really aggressive cam profile. Uh, no VVT, VVL. That doesn't sound like something you would have on a supercar, you know? It's like, no, you don't have that. Turbocharger, yes. Turbo, yes. All right, let's uh, ball bearing, because those ones are, those ones are a little bit better. You see in the the graph, it has more powers. We want more powers. And um, anyways, in a cooler, uh, it depends what we can fit really, but. I think a large one will fit, well, we'll see what we need for sure, but let's start with a large one, and, um, okay, compressor size, let's put that up to, uh, oh, that's as big as it'll go for this engine, turbine, that's as big as it'll go, okay, how much boost will those give me, though, probably about, that looks okay, 17 PSI, what about, uh, the ratio here, uh, looks like about 8.0 would be about good. I'm just basing everything I do based on the preview here. And, uh, I remember there's a thing where it tells you a good boost should look about like that, so... We'll see what that does. Injection, of course. You can't have a carburetor on this thing. We need injection. Direct injection, probably, yes. Max power is only 437. We need more than that. 875? We want 1,000 horsepower. 10,307 horsepower max. Yes! That's what we want. We want a throttle per cylinder. It's total overkill, but twin is just quite not enough. So throttle per cylinder. And then intake, I guess we'll do with race. You know, who cares? Race intake, yeah. Of course, we're going to need premium fuel for this thing. We're going to want it to run pretty rich because we got those turbos in there. And the way it's set up, uh, probably we'll need that. Uh, ignition timing, we'll put it up to about 70. Just random guess about what we'll need. And uh, RPM, let's go for 8,000. See if it'll hold up to that. And then let's uh, see. Oh, headers. We don't have much choice here. We, just, uh, we can get single or dual exhaust. And we'll get dual. We'll put a bypass valve on it. Because why not? And then exhaust diameter. We'll make that. Well, you see it says the max power is 1301 per pipe. And so what we'll do is we'll put it at six, um, 6 inches across. And we'll bring it down as we need it. So then no muffler, no exhaust, none of that. I don't care about EPA. You could screw you guys, man. I don't care. I don't care about your little regulations. All right, let's see. Will it start? Will it run? Will it get power? The goal is 1,000 horsepower. That is what the goal is. Will it be able to reach it? I'm not sure. And yes, it's going to be a very scary um, torque curve probably because it's like, turbos are here. And when the turbo's kicking, it's just like, woo! That's just the way I'm, that's, you know, it's just to get that much power out of a V8, that's kind of what you have to do. All right, so let's see here. We got 778, so we need more power. The fuel octane rating is way low, though, so we can uh, go ahead and do things like up the compression. Well, first, let's, let's make the engine size as big as we can fit in the car. So to do that, we just look at those arrows and we say, bigger bore! When the bore maxes out, we'll increase the stroke as well. I'm hoping to get at least, oh, no. I was going to say, I was hoping to get at least 5,000 cc on it, but no. It's not going to be quite as big as I was hoping. Alright, well, we're just making it as big as we possibly can. Because I can make it big as I can. That makes sense, right? Alright, so increasing the size, what does that do to it? More power, same octane, worse, same efficiency, even though it's red. It's like, it's the same within a decimal point. So it's like, ah, who cares? It does need more cooling, but that's okay. We have a ton of vents and stuff. So we're good. So now we need to make 180 more horsepower. So there's a couple ways we could do that. We can see if we could put a bigger compressor and turbine on it now that the engine itself is bigger. And we can make a slightly bigger one of each of those, which means we could probably increase the max boost a bit. 
Oh, quite a bit. We can really increase the max boost. Eh, maybe not that much. That looks a little too too steep. How about about right? 20p. Let's just get a nice even 20. Oh, we, okay. 19.99 is a nice even 20. The AR ratio, let's see if we can uh, make that a little more. Uh, nah, let's make it less still. Looked like it was okay. Alright, let's go ahead and run that. And 944. And we still got a ton of on the octane rating. So all we could do is just throw the compression up to about 10 or so. Maybe 10.5. And that should get us a thousand horsepower. Let's just watch it. I mean, the top of the dyno graph says a thousand. So it should be able to reach a thousand. Hopefully. Usually that's what it means. 900, come on. 940, 950, 64. Okay, we're close. How's the octane rating sitting at? Uh, 90.4. Okay, we got room there, so we're going to be able to reach 1,000, no problem. And, I'm, of course, you could really optimize this a lot more. What I'm doing is just, like, a rough way to get, a, get it up to 1,000, you know? Let's see. Let me uh, look at the turbos real quick and make sure those are maxed out. Maxed out. Okay, yep. So we can't do that. Could do some other things, though. Well, actually, you know what? What if we just increase the AR ratio to, like, really high? Will that make it better? It might. I'm not I'm not 100% on the turbo tuning, but I think that might increase the power some. And with what the dynograph is saying, I think it will. Good. All right, so we're hitting How many PSI are we actually hitting? Oh, so we're getting the 20 PSI. You know, if we wanted to, we could up the up the total um, max boost actually probably cuz we're actually hitting 20 right here. Oh, good. Look at that. 1,115 horsepower. Yes. But we could probably up the boost to about 22 PSI and still be okay. I'm thinking. All right, we reached 22 PSI. More everything except octane. A octane is going down. But we got more power. You know, more logical thing to do probably for, like, overall just driving a car reasonably would make be making the compression higher and then the boost lower. But, um... I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're like, I'm like, I'm making a fast car. We got big turbo. Yes, 24 PSI. I don't care. Oh, nope. Now it's, uh, nope. It's too, uh, fuel octane's too high. So we'll bring it back down to about 20. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Why am I hitting all these buttons wrong? Wanted it about 23 is what I was thinking. 23.5. All right, let's go for 12,000, or 1,200 horsepower. That's our goal. Octane rating is a little too high, so we'll just drop that. Maybe put the AR up a bit. 1187, but the engine is knocking, so we gotta drop the max boost just a bit more. Alright, I don't think we're gonna reach what I wanted, but that's okay. Ooh, we did somehow. Neat. Alright, there we go. A 1200 horsepower engine. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can make a lot more power out of this, but hey, it's like, I'm happy with that, so let's just save it. Let's just save it. Just save it. I don't care. Save it. Okay. That's the engine we're going to use. It's going to fit in the car. Everything's going to be happy. And, oh, we didn't get to uh, make sure that muffler size was ideal. Or exhaust size, I mean, excuse me. So what if we made it smaller? Is that better? No, it's well. Uh, I guess it's better. So since it's per pipe and we have two pipes, we could probably do about right there before we feel any significant losses. Yeah. And that just makes it a little more sensible. Uh, how much power would we lose if we had, like, all this fancy emission-killing stuff? Not that much, but look at how, look at that thing. It's like a Prius now at only 23 emissions, and it's quieter. And really, we didn't lose anything by doing that on, in terms of power. I was afraid we would lose some power from that, but we didn't. So, that should be okay and good to go. I know it's not like a Prius at all, probably. Emissions 23 is still really bad, probably, but I don't care. I'm making 1,200 horsepower. All right, how's the fuel mixture looking? If we up that, what, could, what will it do? Will it just be like, ooh, good. Yes, it increases everything uh, bad, like emissions and stuff, which you just tried fixing. But look, we can get more power out of it because the octane rating went down. So that means we can increase the boost. And yes, this thing is going to be terrible to ever try to drive ever because it's just going to be the boost is going to come on so hard. Look at this thing. It's like, here we're driving, drive it. Boost is here. And you're just going to you're just going to die. You're like driving along. Boost is here. Then you're in a tree. That's basically how it's going to work. 
I I know this is this is like I could I could fix this maybe if I wanted to. Uh, I don't know. Should I try fixing it? It's hard to know, you know. Ah. Uh, nah. We're just gonna have a stupidly, a hugely boosted V8 in this thing and not have a care in the world. Put the fuel mixture up. Put the boost higher. How high can it go? Yes. More boost. More boost. More boost. Yes. How's the octane rating? It's still good enough. More boost. Hmm. More boost. Let's go for 1500 horsepower. Screw everything. 1500 horsepower in this thing. Alright. But we're getting close to the octane rating. And like I said, we're just going for power. Like, screw the logical of actually driving it. I want lots of power numbers. So when we're selling this car, we could put on it 1500 horsepower just to sell it. You know? Because people are like, ooh, that has so much power. I want that. You know, when, you know, when you're that rich, you don't actually drive the car. You just have it to look at, mostly. I think the, uh... Unfortunately, the turbos are reaching their limits, actually, it looks like. Because we're actually not hitting the... Well, I don't know what PSI we're hitting, actually, because it's all out of line. But it looks like we're kind of not getting into the boost range soon enough. So I think we're kind of done at trying to use, do that. Is he watching it? Watching it. How high does the PSI go? See, like, we're, oh, we have a little bit of room right there. We can still increase the, the boost amount, I would think. No, we can't. We peaked at 28.9. So anything more than that is just a waste. So we can lower the boost to 28.9. It'll still be just as good, probably. Like this, right? Eh, yeah, roughly. We might have had a little bit more on it, but like it still says 28.9 is the max boost, so whatever. I don't think we're going to get what I wanted. What if we just say more fuel? I don't care. Ten. Ten. Just dump all the fuel in it. It's like a top fuel dragster now. That way we can increase the compression a bit, maybe. Come on, come on. 1381. Ooh, we got room. All right, what if we just make it racing cams? Like, we're just going stupid now. Before, it was like, let's make a, a logical supercar. Now, it's like, let's make lots of power without any logic behind it whatsoever. Interesting. So, with the cam profile there, the engine's now running rich. So that means we could try reducing the fuel a bit. I'm not exactly 100% what I'm doing here, but uh, less power. No, I don't want less power. Let's see, the octane rating isn't much better either. So you know what? We'll just do it back to the other way. Ten, it was at 10.5 on this, right? There we go. And the cam profile is only at 90. I think what happens is it's just it's too high. And it's just not matching up with the red line for the vehicle. Oh my goodness, it's worse. What did I do? Oh goodness. I screwed something up. What did I change? I don't remember. Okay, we're fine. Now we're fine again. Everything's okay. I'm freaking out over it. Oh, I had the fuel mixture on 10, not 10.5, didn't I? There we go. Let's get that 1500. I want to get that 1500 horsepower. 11 on the compression. We might actually be able to reduce the cam profile just a bit, actually, now that I'm looking at that curve a little closer. Uh, nope, never mind. Scratch that idea. That was a bad idea. What about 89? Nope. What about 91? I'm just, like, tweaking it to try to find where exactly it's the best. 1382? Is that a little higher? What was the other one? I forgot my other one. Oh, that was one horsepower more. Yes. Alright, we can increase the compression still though because our rate our fuel octane rating is still there. It's going up though. Maybe we could get one more on compression. And then we're like one more click, I mean, and then we're hit we're ahead in it. Yeah, so that's done. Can't put that any harder. Alright, what if we had VVT? Would it make it any better? Oh, slightly more power and better emissions and better economy. Yes. Alright, we'll put it on there. Even though I was against it at first, we'll put it on. You know what? Do we need bigger exhaust now? Yes, 1400. Okay. The engine's knocking. Ah. We can't dump more fuel in it. Like, oh man, that's my solution to everything is dump more fuel in it. We can't do that no more. Alright, there we go. We reduced that. And actually, ooh, we made everything a little bit better. Let's reduce it some more on the ignition timing. 
Oh, we reduced it too much, Mel. Hmm. Maybe not. I mean, I think we might be able to squeeze more power out of it now because, whoa, whoa. Because we can um, increase the compression. I'm still going for that 1500 now, mind you. I don't think I'm going to be able to quite reach it. But we're getting close. And now we're getting far away from it. Alright, let's just say, in the, uh, let's just increase the ignition timing a little bit, and then we should just be 1400. Oh my god, I can't get 1400 again. What did I do? Okay. Dummy. Don't mess with what was working. We're gonna make it slower. I am making it slower. Because it's knocking. Gonna reduce this just a bit more. Oh god. Where did I have it at before on the compression? The compression is different. Maybe at 11.3. I don't know. I messed this all up now. I'm sad. I ruined everything. I had a good car and now I've ruined it. It only has four. It doesn't even have 1400 horsepower anymore. Yay, yay, yay. Let me design this. Right, originally it was at 70, right? Okay, there we go. Maybe I should just be happy like that. Except the engine's knocking. Of course it is. Of course you're knocking, aren't you? Okay, that goes up a little bit. There's a point where the ignition timing just says, uh-uh, I'm done helping you, and that's right there. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that. 1412. That is a ton of power. And that's like, yeah, but you, you look at all the things you sacrificed for that power. Yeah, I know. I don't care. Power. Now let's make it pretty. We can choose a color of things, you know? We can say, what color do we want uh, on this? We can say, all right, let's get the one that says, um, yes, that one. It says 40 valve because it is a 40 valve engine. I wonder if it changes if you were to, oh, where'd it go? There it is. 32 valve. Look at that. It does change. That's cool. Okay, so we want the one that says 40 valve. Car is blue, so let's make this blue as well. Is there any, like, baby blue? Like, the car itself doesn't look like it. Gotta make it looking pretty. Whoops. There we go. Making this car, man, was too much power. Too much power. Too much power. Let's see. Wait a minute. Fourteen, twelve. What is it? What if we did the exhaust bigger? Does that help at all? Oh, it does. We have made it bigger again. Doesn't make much sense why it helps on that one. There we go. I was about to say, it wouldn't make much sense why it would help if I made it one more stage bigger. So fourteen, twenty. 1,420. That is it. That is that engine. That engine is done. That's what I'm doing for the engine. And it costs, yeah, it's like a, a $50,000 engine at least in like terms of man hours and all that, but I don't care. It's all good. We need a, a, a sequential double clutch with eight gears. That seems weird, doesn't it? Ah, who cares? Top speed? Try like 200 and, okay, not 375. That's too much. 300 miles per hour. Yes, that is our top speed. Even though the estimated top speed is only 265. All right, we'll put it to 260. We'll put it to 276. And that's still ludicrous fast. You know, it's just like, whoo. I won't touch the spacing because that looks fine. We have so many gears anyways. Maybe we should just have it as an automatic. Eh, whatever. 10 up that quality. We need semi-slicks. And the width... <laughs> Man, how why will you let me have it legally? You know, just give me those things just give me the things that are as wide as possible. So the driver doesn't die. That doesn't look nearly wide enough. I want tires that are as wider than drag racers use. Wait a minute. I, I thought I, I just missed my clicks. Oh god, that's funny. The front wheels can't be or can be wider than the back wheels. Or tires. They're both the same. I'm making them both wider, but still. That looks wide enough to hopefully put down the power. Make the diameter a little bit more, 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 more. Oh, we can't make it more. Okay, fine. We'll just get bigger rims. We need at least 20 inch rims. Uh, does that look like supercar to you? Oh, God. What rim? I mean, what What are those rims doing? There's no rubber on them. Right, let's try 22s. Nah. Still a little too much. 21. Let's just go with 20 inches. That one still looks like it has a reasonable amount of rubber on it, you know? Rim offset. Now, let's just not mess with the rim offset. Just leave it nice and normal. Quality go up. Alright, brakes. We need to stop this thing. 
We need to stop it, because the driver's going to be going so fast, he needs to be able to stop. Just make sure he doesn't die, so he can buy the next car we make that's two million dollars more or something. We need downforce. We, we just need downforce. Brake airflow. Uh, I don't think the engine needs that much, so keep those brakes cool, man. We can't have no brake fade here. Uh, aero inclination, just leave it like that. Downforce, lots of downforce. Quality 15. And two seats. Oh, I was going to put a four-seater in this thing. Just kidding. Super light insulation. What? How much weight does it add? 40 pounds of insulation? What insulation? Like I said, it's going to be stupid expensive, but it's just what we're making, man. We don't need no entertainment system. Power steering? Fine. We can put your little wimpy driver assist in. I don't know. How much weight does that add? Oh, God. That adds a ton of weight. So we don't need none of that. Basic. 100 pounds? No way. Nuh uh. Actually, you know what? That's right. If we do, uh. Instead of. If we do it on tech, it's lighter. I thought. I just thought about that. Should we have done that for the other thing? What does that change on this one? This one, you can't tell what it changes. So we'll just leave that one alone. What about this one? Can you tell what it changes? It makes it lighter. And it makes it more expensive, so there's no reason not to do that for me. In this situation, you know, I was like, I don't care about cost. And, but that goes to, that one goes to nothing. Make that one maxed out. Safety. If we don't have, if it wasn't for the laws, and the fact that you'd probably crash at 100,000 miles per hour in this thing, I wouldn't be putting this in there. But here, advanced safety equipment. But it's all tech. So it, it's lightweight. How does that work? I'm not quite exactly sure how that works. Does it mean like in case of a crash, it might not deploy or I don't know. All right, we need this to be a race setup. I'm not even going to really tweak this much. I'm just going to say do the race setup, man. Make it nice and high quality. That's all I want. All right. How bad is it in terms of what I made? How actually bad is it? It gets 11.5 miles to the gallon, so it's about the same miles per gallon that my uh, RX-7 got, so that's not bad. Total cost is only 187000 That's not that bad. Right? Let's go to the test track. Let's watch it drive. Like, how fast does it actually go? Man, it sounds like we need to replace our brakes already. Just the brake sound is just like the brakes are all worn out and stuff. See, they're barely able to use any of the power right now. It's like, how much power are you putting down? None. Well. Oh, well. It's not that fast. <laughs> I got lots of power, though. Let's, uh, let's go to a different track and see real quick. Airfield track. Of the top gear track. Because that one at least has straightaways, so it could be like, yes, high, high speeds. Mm. I do like the 0 to 62 time, though. It's 2.8 seconds, so that's not bad. I don't know what else is there. Standing mile, or standing kilometer, I mean, 15.7, that's not bad. Quarter mile is 9.06 at 178 miles per hour. That's that's pretty good for a street car that's supposed to be able to churn. You know, with something like that, that's made the churn as well, although it can't really. Like, look at how slow they have to go through that churn. Uh, I should probably try to figure out how to make it better. Anyways, a lot. Of t uh, 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 it's not that bad. It's not that good in terms of actual churning cor churning ability. It seems. And I don't know enough to really fix that. So well, well. I guess um, that'll be what it is. Look at the sportiness, 96.8. How does it, does it? Is there anything that says it loses sportiness on? Like everywhere, it's it has sportiness for it. Except the gear ratios and the um, where's something else? Oh, loudness. Even if I made it louder, it'll be more sporty. Let's take off the exhaust stuff. Change things and stuff now. Hey, I just thought of something. Would a V flat plane be better? Whoa, everything got changed around, it seems like. Alright, was that better or no? Ooh, it is! It's 
slightly better. Okay. We're going to use just a normal... V what, which name before? We're going to use a V flat plane now because it makes slightly more power. Fine. If it's louder, will it be more sporty? Is that how it works? Look at that. Loudness is 81. So does that mean it's more sporty now? Oh, yes. Over 100 on the sporty factor. Good. Service cost is only $24,428 per year. That's perfect. I don't care about anything other than sportiness. We got over 100 on the sportiness scale. That's happy times. No brake fade. It's like, what brake fade? I got so much cooling on these brakes. Oh, man. All right. Ooh, look at the top speed went up. Ooh, MPGs went up. I'm just looking at all the stats now. Um, yeah, I mean... Ooh, it sounds way better, too. Like, it just sounds more supercarish. Before it sounded like a uh, muscle carish. Now it sounds supercarish, you know? Alright, well, that was just, you know, a whole car made from start to finish using a lot of stupid ideas and stuff. Just because we can. And, um, by no means is this the best possible car for any situation whatsoever. Even if you wanted to make a fast car, you'd probably have a better option than that. But, you know, just, just for fun, I wanted to make something like that. And it, it turned out, you know, it's not that bad, actually, I guess. It, sure, it's expensive, but that was the goal. What if we, uh, can we reduce this much? No, not really. There's only something, but look at that. Look at that engine. We have all that space back there. Why can't we put a bigger engine in it? Oh, whatever. Whoa, camera, what are you doing? I messed up the camera. Um, let's see. What if we reduce the ride height? Yes, more sportiness. Tameness is down. Comfort is down. I don't care. All right, well, I think I'm done with this car. And like I said, I'm just making a crazy car for this one because it's actually easier to make something like this because you don't have to worry about cost. You just go all out and absurd with things, you know? Uh, next time, um, we'll try to make something more sane. Uh, I'll let you guys, if you guys watch it all the way through, you guys can be the one who tell me, you know, which one to make or what kind of car to make, you know? Say, like, it should, you know, what, like, give me, like, an idea of what you'd want, you know? Should it be, like, a truck? Should we try to make a truck? I don't know. We could try making a muscle car. We could try making a Prius type thing. It's up to you guys, you know? Tell me what you guys think I should make and we'll try to make it. Uh, for this one, it's a supercar because we can. And, um, until next time, it's been YBR. Uh, I'll see you.